Dubai, Switzerland. We are now heading to Paris, France, and I'm gonna eat some crepes. <laughs> Ski one, go ahead. Mmm! Mm. You like it, actually? Mmm. That's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a whole shot. Yeah, go ahead and put that in there. Is it? I well, think, well, almost. I mean, yeah, that's big. Not too bad, huh? Mm. Ready to enter the hotel now. Alright, we just arrived in our hotel in Paris. Green color again. I don't mind it. Again, just like all the hotels in Europe, our last one's just like our first. Pretty small. And I don't think we've turned the TV on once, besides Munich where it was on, so we are here. That's Paris. So this place must have known we were staying at a jail because right as we came in the door, they sprayed our bags with some pesticide or something. This is the only hotel who's done that. You French. I tell you. This is not the reason we're gaining weight. <laughs> this, this, this is. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. <coughs> could, could have something to do with that as well. <laughs> that, yeah. that, that, that might have something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When you find out how much you gain on this trip, and then I compare how much I gained, I'll know the, the reason why. And because I've eaten like 27 tiramisus when I was in Italy for six days, and now. I'm trying to match it with crepes. Andrew Lloyd Webber said, you know what, that'll make a musical. <laughs> and uh, Abel is in the center of it though. Glass pyramid's been there <laughs> since the 1980s. So I'll give that uh, mention in more detail in a second. What I do want to point out though to the right of the coach is um, is the second of these axes of symmetry I was referring to. But effectively all the way up to the Arc de Triomphe, uh, which is about three and a half kilometers from here. Uh, it's lined up perfectly. And that's probably the most infamous intersection anywhere in continental Europe. They say that accidents happen on this intersection every hour. Uh, effectively, there's the width for 10 lanes of uh, sorry, 12 lanes of traffic, uh, but there's no lane marking. The thing is that the one rule everyone seems to obey by in this uh, intersection is that people don't argue with things that are bigger than them. So, um, being on the Kentucky coach, we're generally able to um, have a little bit more confidence, than perhaps where everyone else is. But uh, yeah, it is still absolute mayhem in this intersection. Um, and in most cases, insurance companies, they won't cover you for accidents that happen on here. They just happen too frequently and it's too infamous. And they certainly won't cover you for any damage you do to other cars in here. So, right. This is a, um, this is a good little welcome to Paris here. Um, at some point, we'll pop out the other side. While we're stuck here, though, I will talk about this magnificent structure to the left of the coach right now, the Arc de Triomphe, uh, Napoleon's masterwork. Built between 1806 and 1844, 49 metres tall, uh, tall, 45 metres wide, 22 metres deep. Set there, set up there in a sort of uh, memorial and in thanks for his uh, for his soldiers, for his generals uh, especially, but for all of his men who died in battle. But at the end of the day, he's pretty much glorifying himself more than anything else. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's kind of cool, actually.